Hey, Steve Livingston here from IP Tap Solutions. Just wanted to cover a, a topic that comes up quite frequently when investors, founders, so founders come up to me in particular, uh, asking about seeking funding under the C Seed Enterprise Investment Scheme or the Enterprise Investment Scheme, SAS or EIS. Um, and they're looking at getting their share capital structure correct. That's often a kind of an area that we deal with in advance of certainly going to HMRC for advanced assurance, um, but in terms of just generally getting kind of uh, a bit of sort of tidy up for the company in preparation. So in terms of getting a share capital structure right, you've got to think about for an SEIS or EIS investment, you've got to issue new shares in the company. So it's got to be uh, an investment of cash in exchange for a fresh issue of ordinary shares. That means that you know you wouldn't sell your own shares if you're the founder to an SES investor. It's got to be cash coming into the company, say four new shares. So in that case, you're simply going to get going to get diluted. Um, so you're going to gross up the number of shares that are an issue, and as a consequence, suddenly you suddenly got less of the pie, less of the pizza, and therefore your share holding goes down because there are new shares created. If you follow that, so. Where this can sort of go wrong, and it doesn't mean the end of the world because we can rectify it, but just so you're aware, quite often you know, you'll, you'll incorporate a company, you just think, right, I'm just going to you know, go onto an incorporation site, whatever it is, and I'm subscriber, the founder of the company, I'm just going to go for you know, typically uh, one share, say. Um, so you're going to say have a, a new company with one one pound ordinary share in issue, and that's absolutely fine ordinarily, that's quite common. Uh, it may be that you go for 100 uh, one pound orders, that's again fairly standard. The problem you've got there is that it typically doesn't work in terms of percentages because when you want to get the investors to uh, invest for a certain percentage, you need to gross up the numbers to work out how many shares you need to issue. And if you've got one one pound share and you want to give someone 5%, it's impossible because you can't subdivide a one, the nominal value of the share, the one pound share. So um, what we usually find like, is you, you probably want around about 100,000 shares to make it easier to get to the exact percentage you want to get to or as near as damn it to the exact percentage. Um, so, for example, say you want to give a shareholder 5%. Um, an SES, it, could be, it doesn't have to be SES, but just in this case, typically uh, SES or EIS, 5%. You therefore need to grow, and you've got 100,000 shares currently in issue. The maths you'll do it's to say, right, okay, so I want to end up with 100%, and I want, and my, I need to sort of deduct the 5% that I'm going to the new shares I'm going to issue. So you assume that the denominator is 95, and then you multiply by the 100,000, and then you get to the number you need. So in that case, you need to issue 5,263 new shares to the investor to get to 5%. And how that kind of works in terms of the maths then, you can double check it as you go 5263 shares issued to new investor over the now total number of shares, uh, total diluted value of 105,263 gives you 5%. So again, if you want to give 10%, you go 100 divided by 90 times 100,000, again, if you've got 100,000 shares. Um, I think the number then is like 11,000. Uh, 111 shares you need to issue and you can double check that by again 11,111 divided by 111,000 <laughs> you get the you get the gist uh, and it'll be 10% so that's how you work it out and that's why you really need 100,000 shares as a kind of number of chips and number of shares you've got to start with to get to the, the exact percentage with 100 you'd have roundings you couldn't get there if you had, if you had a base starting point of 100 shares an issue the numbers don't quite work. You could get there or thereabouts, but you know, it'd be like 5.263 shares. You can't have 5.2, so there's going to be roundings. Um, so that's why we say, you know, typically 100,000 is kind of like the sweet spot you want to get to. Um, and uh, as you say, there, start at 100,000. The from your perspective, from a founder, you've issued the 5% of the shares to. Uh, the new investor, the 5,263 shares, you still got 100,000. Your kind of number of chips, number of shares is unchanged, but because you've issued the new 5,263 shares in this case, you're now down to 95%. And that's kind of how the maths works on that. So again, say you went for another round, another 10%, you then go, you know, uh, you do the same calculation again, but divide by the new denominator, 105,263, and you can get further diluted and diluted and diluted. 
uh, until uh, you know you get you end up where you end up at the end. So being careful that from the outset. So again, what you say you watch this thing. Oh, I've already incorporated my company. I've got one one pound ordinary share, or I've got a hundred uh, one pound shares. Not ideal. What do I do? It's not the end of the world, but it's a bit more housekeeping to be done. The solution typically here is that you subdivide those that existing one share or shares. I hundred say hundred shares, two hundred shares, whatever you've got to start with. So there is a, a you know company's house kind of company secretarial procedure you go through. Uh, again, we can help we help companies with that. Uh, to be able to subdivide the shares, typically we say into uh, 100,000 shares. Um, and the reason for that, as I say, is because you can normally get the percentage to work. Uh, and with a one pound share, I think it takes you down to about 0.00, I think it's about four zeros and a one uh, in terms of the nominal value of each shares. So again, take that example, you've got one one pound share. We come to you and say, right, you could do with 100,000 shares. What you do then is you divide that one pound share into 100,000 0.0001 shares. So the share capital total is unchanged, and you still, you've gone from holding one one pound share to 100,000 of these, uh, much lower nominal value, with a total one pound. So your position is, is unchanged before and after, just you've got more chips to play with. Um, and then that gives you a great starting point then to be able to issue new shares to the investors that come in. The other reason, slight digression, is when you go to company's house, or certainly on um, HMRC's website, uh, for certain things, when you're putting the shares in, I can I think in particular of enterprise management centre schemes like that, um, they don't have enough spaces to go much smaller in terms of uh, if you want to get one pound to say a million shares, it gets very it gets very messy and you've got a lot of zeros to count. It gets quite complicated. So uh, that's a quick sort of um, summary of a bit of housekeeping to be done there in terms of getting your share capital in good shape, ready for. Um, investment for it can be seed enterprise investment uh, and or enterprise investment scheme or just you're looking for investment more generally so my name is Steve Livingston IP Tax Solutions I hope you found that useful thanks for watching